in an unprecedented move, New York University is offering free tuition to all current and future medical school students. Regardless of need or merit, school has already raised more than $450 million of the $600 million that it anticipates it will need. $100 million of that came from Home Depot co-founder Ken Langone and his wife Elaine. And Mr. Langone joins us now on the CNBC News line to talk about that and so much more. Ken, thanks so much for calling in. You're a generous guy, I know, but this is a lot of money. Why are you doing it? Well, it's the right thing to do, Maria. Before we start, let me congratulate you on your new career. Thank you. Very kind. Just keep going. But back to why we did it. Uh, there's a critical need coming at us in the next 15 years for a shortage of doc doctors, particularly in the primary care, pediatrics, OBGYN, the areas of medicine where the pay, frankly, isn't that good, isn't very good. And we're looking at these kids that are going to spend the next four years in medical school, which is a very challenging time. Then many of them will go on to specialties. Before they get really started and they have families by then, they're heavily in debt, and we just think that the best way that Elaine and I can impact all the people we'd like to help in this country, which has been so good to Elaine and me, is this program. Now, I want to make it clear. Yes, Elaine and I were major donors, but we've had literally hundreds of people join us in this effort. So it's a, it's a real team effort, and we're excited about it. And the most important thing is that these kids, when they're done, are going to be able to pick a specialty or pick a field of medicine they want to go in because that's where their passion is and that's where they can do the most good. Uh, I would imagine... Sorry to interrupt, Ken. Um, I would imagine that this would certainly attract a lot more people to apply to NYU. How do you think or how do you anticipate this might change the composition of the student body if you're able to uh, offer students uh, free tuition for, for all four years of medical school? Well, let me be boastful for a moment. Uh, we have no shortage of applicants. Last year, I believe, uh, for 93 positions, we had 10,000 applicants. And the average scores of these kids and the GMAT scores are off the charts. So we didn't do this to stimulate more applications. We did it because we think those that we ultimately pick and those that want to come, and it's a, it's a joint relationship here, we think we're giving them a good start in life to leave here debt-free. And, and uh, we think it's the right thing to do. The other thing is, more importantly, I am praying, and Elaine's and my fervent hope, is that other medical schools will join us in this effort. We're only one out of roughly 150 medical schools in America. We don't move the needle. But if we got more and more medical schools to do this, just project out 10, 12 years from now when the shortage is going to really start to hit. And just think of the impact we're going to have on older people. We're all, thank God, we're all living longer. Longer, We all have more health care needs the older we get. These are all the good things that can be accommodated by having these kids off on their own, not worrying about pay. I had a, uh, after the ceremony the other day, a mother came up to me. She's a doctor herself. And she told me that she's 35 years out of medical school, and she's still paying off her medical school debt. And now she's got a child that she's going to have to help carry the burden. Well, I guess as of this, that morning, she had that problem. But by the time noon hit around, she realized that he no longer had a tuition responsibility to NYU.